you didn't work with Ayrton Senna for long, but did you see enough of Ayrton to understand what made him different? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was obviously a very short relationship, unfortunately. I suppose I'm not as bad as I used to be on this, but kind of part of my competitive thing was is that when you have somebody like Ayrton that you're all up against and battling year after year, then you kind of, not demonise him, but you, you kind of, he's the enemy. And so, when, of course, met him occasionally, but never really talked to him until he first visited the factory at the end of what must have been 93. So introduced to him and, and then straight away it was, can I see the wind tunnel model? So we walked around to the wind tunnel and again, straight away, he was kind of down on his knees, looking underneath the car, wanting to explain what we'd done differently, what was different about this car to the previous year's car, why had we done it, et cetera, et cetera. He, he was phenomenally inquisitive. You know, you could argue that he didn't need to know that, but for him, he just wanted every bit of information he could possibly have because that might be useful to him at some point in the future. I think probably more than any other driver that I've been involved with, that I would say is what I found unique about him. And those pole laps, was he doing something different? Could you see from the conversations, from the data, that he was famous for his throttle application, yeah. for example? The, the 94 car is one of my huge regrets, regardless of what was the cause of the accident at Imola. The one thing you can definitely say about the car is it was aerodynamically unstable. We'd had two years with active suspension and I completely, you know, it's my fault, I completely messed up the, the aerodynamics of going back to passive suspension and the much bigger ride height range that that has to cope with. It was a very, very difficult car to drive and the bumpier the circuit, the worse that became. And of course, it was quite a bumpy circuit. So what he did with that car was quite extraordinary and it, he could do that in qualifying. In Brazil, he, he managed to carry it, but spun at the last corner near the end of the race, extracting that performance from it. Damon was, didn't try to extract that level of performance from it, and so he finished the race, but he knew it was unstable. Ayrton's self-confidence and self-belief in his car control, he, he would always try it. Um, yeah, I mean, his, he was an extra... His car control and his, his concentration was quite, quite extraordinary. Did 1994 make you question your involvement in Formula One? Did you ever want to stop? I thought about it, I have to say. You'd be a fool or would be something wrong if you didn't question yourself and question what you're doing. First of all, it would have been quite selfish because if Patrick or I, or both of us had decided we were stopping, we'd have left the team in complete disarray. Like all mistakes, regardless of what did cause the accident, you have to learn from the possibilities of what might have caused the accident to make sure that you react to that and make sure that you try to take appropriate measures to stop that ever happening again.